Hey and welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K24 video. Last week I had the awesome opportunity to play an early build of WWE 2K24 thanks to 2K, UK and WWE games so I thought I'd share some of my first impressions. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE 2K24 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head over to our official website www.revolution.com for all the latest women's wrestling news and so much more. With several improvements and new features from last year's game, the real question is where to start. Well duh, with the women of course. <laughs> in the build we played, there were 10 female superstars to choose from in exhibition matches including Bailey, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Charlotte Flair, Dakota Kai, Eo Sky, Rhea Ripley, Shayna Baszler, Trish Stratus and Zelina Vega, as well as two alternate models of Charlotte and Rhea Ripley in the WrestleMania showcase. Across the board, I would argue that all 10 women are looking great this year, and with a few tweaks here and there, many of them could look the best they've looked in the franchise to date. Starting out with Bailey, Bailey has her WrestleMania 39 attire, albeit with a different hairstyle compared to the match version, which I honestly don't mind one bit. At times, superstars in the 2K series have really wacky face paint or hairstyles they don't tend to style on a week-to-week -week basis, so this is a great call. Briefly sticking with Bailey's hairstyle for one minute, it doesn't look as bad as it did in the fall or released earlier this week, but it also doesn't look quite right either. We did play a somewhat early build, so fingers crossed Bailey gets a tweak because Bailey is like 70% there. Bailey's mini attire is a favourite of mine, so I really hope that she gets updated closer to release, like how superstars have been updated in the final build in the past. With the inclusion of super finishes in this year's game, Bailey comes with an avalanche belly to belly alongside a heel moveset arsenal. Up next we have the man Becky Lynch. Becky looks so 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 much better than last year and whilst I quite like Becky's model in last year's game, it represented a version of Becky that was more of a one-off look and more or less instantly fell out of date once the game released. Thankfully 2K did add a more up-to-date Becky in my faction and I wouldn't actually mind seeing some more of Becky's outlandish designs appear in this year's My Faction. In this year's game, Becky comes with a more week-to-week -week look, spotting her attire from Raw 30 in what was originally intended to be a cage match against Bailey. Like Bailey, Becky also comes with her very own super finisher in the form of an avalanche manhandle slam, which will make for some awesome table spots to spice up any match. Up next, we have Bianca Belair, who, let's just cut to the chase, looks bloody incredible. From her new entrance animation to new hairstyle and a sick recreation of her Royal Rumble 2023 attire, Bianca looks amazing and this is definitely the best iteration of Belair in the 2K series to date. Speaking of Bianca's new entrance, the updated entrance comes with more personality this year as Belair skips, swings her braid and hypes up the WWE Universe. Bianca also comes with a 450 splash as her super finisher and even though it looks cool, I can't help feel like it's a missed opportunity to not include a top rope KOD. A bloody good year for Belair, with alternate models for Bianca yet to be revealed. Next up we have Charlotte Flair, with not one but two models on show in our build. The first being a mashup of Charlotte spotting her Survivor Series 2021 attire, with a quote from Smackdown back of June 2023, and a recreation of Charlotte Flair from WrestleMania 39. I won't lie, Charlotte's default model is a little bit underwhelming and almost looks cut and paste from last year's game, albeit with a new attire, but Charlotte's showcase model? Now that is something truly fitting of WWE royalty. Charlotte has had so many memorable extravagant entrance pieces over the years, so to see something quite bland in comparison is a little disappointing, so he's hoping we get some extra flair in the pun when it comes to some of Charlotte's alternate models and attires. Charlotte's default model isn't bad per se, it's just lacking compared to that of her stunning showcase model. Like the previously mentioned women, Charlotte also has her very own super finisher with a top rope natural selection. Next up we have damage control member Dakota Kai who spots a recreation of her attire from Clash at the Castle. I actually think Dakota looks pretty awesome this year with her pink, blonde and black updo alongside her black, white and gold attire. I don't know about you but I'm personally hoping to see a lot of Dakota's attire and model pieces over in the creation suite this year as she has some pretty neat parts. When it comes to entrance animation and theme, there is nothing new this time around but we do need to factor in that Dakota Kai has been out of in-ring action for quite some time after an injury. 
Regardless, I'm still super happy with the Jakarta outcome. Up next, we have another member of Damage Control in the form of WWE Women's Champion Eos Sky. In this year's game, the blue brand's current champion spots a recreation of her Money in the Bank 2023 attire, which looks awesome, especially alongside Eos' stellar entrance animation. Sure, the entrance itself is the same as previous iterations, but it still looks just as good to this day. Thanks to the build, we get a sneak peek look at the brand new WWE Women's Championship, which makes its debut in the 2K series. And I have to say from what we've seen so far, the titles have once again had an upgrade and look better than ever especially when it comes to the Women's World Championship. Speaking of the Women's World Championship, up next we have the champion herself, Rhea Ripley, who, like Charlotte Flair, also had two models in the build we played. Several weeks ago, WWE 2K unveiled an early screenshot of the default Rhea, which looks miles better in the build we played and is easily one of the best looking superstars alongside Bianca Belair. Not only does Rhea look great in this year's game, but also the debut in Women's World Championship, which looks stunning in the lighting from Rhea's entrance in a brand new championship entrance for the Judgment Day's Mammy. Not only does Rhea have a brand new entrance and title in this year's game, she also comes with a brand new finisher with a super finish Finisher Avalanche Riptide, pinning opponents in the most real way possible. Rhea's alternate showcase model also looks pretty damn cool, spotting her purple and black Judgment Day attire with matching black venom face paint. Many of the male superstars in WWE 2K24 have fading face paint, so I'll be interested to see if the likes of Asuka and even maybe this Rhea comes with this feature. Following on from Rhea Ripley, we have Shayna Baszler, who, like Charlotte Flair, seems somewhat similar to last year's game albeit with slight tweaks here and there to make Shayna more up-to-date. This time around, Shayna spots her silver attire from the women's tag team title unification match on SmackDown with matching black eyeshadow to match, something Shayna has been doing more often than not in recent times. While Shayna still looks pretty cool, I have to say she looks the least striking compared to those who have had bigger and better updates this time around. Given that Shayna does have her tag team attire from when she and Ronda Rousey unified the belts, it does make me wonder if Ronda will indeed make the cut this year after departing WWE. Now, our next superstar, on the other hand, has had major improvements, to say the least, in this year's game, Trish Stratus. For what feels like the last decade, fans have cried for a brand new, up-to-date Trish model, with 2K delivering, giving us the faces Trish model since her early SmackDown vs Raw days. In WWE 2K24, Trish comes with a complete makeover, spotting hair with far more volume and style this time around, and a recreation of her iconic payback attire in which she faced off against Becky Lynch in a steel cage match. Whilst I do absolutely adore the Trish model in this year's game, I do agree with fans in that the volume on top of Trish's head does need to be taken down just a notch, even if I wouldn't mind seeing the exact hairstyle as it is in the creation suite. Picky, I know but I know what I like. <laughs> Seeing Trish receive such a glow up in this year's game gives me hope for the likes of Lita to get a much needed makeover and hopefully we see our Queen of Extreme done a 2023 look after returning to tag with Becky Lynch. From her attire to her trons and coat, Trish looks and feels better than ever and even comes with more signatures and finishes this time around in a first for the women in the 2K series. Talk about stratifying. Last and by certainly no means least, we have LWO's very own Selena Vega. I have to say, I honestly think Selena looks absolutely gorgeous in 2K24 with the recreation of her backlash attire and a brand new sassy and authentic recreation of her entrance to boot. Whilst I would have loved to see Selena's entrance incorporate the Puerto Rican flag, it wouldn't make sense in the general week-to-week -week entrance style of Selena, so I'm glad that they went with an entrance of Selena's that she uses more often than not. Hopefully we get a secondary entrance that can be used that does use the flag, similar to how China has two entrances, one where she holds a rocket launcher. Not only does Zelina come with a new entrance and makeover, she also comes with her very own unique weapon in the form of an iconic chunkler, which she used on the Backlash event when facing Rhea Ripley. The chunkler makes for such a fun weapon to use on opponents, especially when you throw it, and I'm so glad that the devs took time to put that in there, not only for Zelina, but for her fans too. As well as a new weapon, Zelina also comes with a super finisher of her own with a corner code red, which looks so damn cool when executed. As I said at the start of the video, I honestly believe that the women look pretty strong this year, regardless of a few minor tweaks here and there, and I can't wait to see how alternate models or attires look, as well as the rest of the women's roster. If I had to pick out the top three my favourites in this build, hands down, Bianca Belair would be right in the top, 
probably followed by Rhea Ripley and then Zelina or Showcase Charlotte. It's too hard to make a top three. I could easily switch out any of the women. If I had to choose my least favourite, I would probably go with Shayna, default Charlotte and probably Bailey. That isn't to say that they are bad by any means, as I especially love Bailey's attire. It just means that either there hasn't been that much of a change since the last game, or something needs improving, like Bailey's hairstyle. Now, it doesn't mean that there'll be any huge changes between now and release, but I do want to reiterate that this was an early build that we played of WWE 2K24, and like last year with Lita, anything could be changed between now and release. This year's game already has me super excited thanks to the new match types, super finishes and the many updates to the game's roster and I can't wait to dive in more in the coming weeks. This time next month all of us will be prepping to play WWE 2K24 for the very first time on our own consoles at home and I can't wait to see what you at home make of the many updates and additions to this year's game as well as the women's roster. Let me know in the comments down below who you thought looked the best in the build we played and which female superstar you would like to see revealed next. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE 2K24 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com for all the latest women's wrestling news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution.